As we gear ourselves up for five seconds of summer, that's a reference to the weather we enjoy in the UK by the way, not the Australian beat pop combo, our thoughts turn to the great outdoors, barbecues, paddling pools, and less enjoyably, dodgy and dangerous electrical connections. Well, Vargo are here to help make sure that our connections are as waterproof as possible with the Vargo gel box. We've had a look at these in a previous video, but there were some elements missing from there, namely the larger sized 1430 range. You may also remember that Gary and Gordon were brave enough and dropped these connectors into a bucket of water. Well, we always like to push things further here at eFix and a bucket of water doesn't give us the over one meter immersion test that should be used for IPX8. So we're going to be testing this connection a little more thoroughly by dropping it into a water butt. But before we get to that, let's just clarify a couple of things about the gel box and what it is and isn't for. Generally speaking, if you want to create an IPX7 or IPX8 connection for joining a cable, the traditional method has been to keep moisture from entering the enclosure at all. Using glands that seal up around the cable where it enters the enclosure is one way of achieving this. However, if the enclosure is in a place where we'll experience fluctuating temperatures like the great outdoors during the change of seasons, then slightly warmer air inside the enclosure and the cooler air outside the enclosure will cause condensation to form on the inside which could then short out the electrical connections. The temperature difference can also cause the internal pressure of the box to fluctuate, pulling fresh air and moisture into the box, allowing for further condensation. And this effect can actually draw moisture down the cable itself between the insulation of the conductor and the outer sheath, and no gland will prevent that from happening. So the traditional solution is to fill the enclosure up with some kind of sealing gel. That prevents moisture getting into the connections. However, this can be time consuming, messy, really wasteful because you don't need the whole enclosure protecting from moisture, just the connections. And finally, it can be difficult to get into the connections in the future for maintenance, etc. So Vargo have thought, you know, inside the box and come up with the Vargo gel box. It's designed to house and keep moisture out of the connections, but as you can see here, the mouth of the box is designed to clamp around the insulated conductors, not the sheath of a cable, which means that when it's installed as per the instructions, there'll be a section of conductor with insulation and no sheath, and this needs to then sit inside an enclosure to stay compliant with BS7671. So the gel box provides IPX8 protection to the connections and the enclosure provides cable retention and protection to the gel box, conductors and cable. Using the gel box removes the need to flood the box with gel and applies it exactly where it's needed. Another advantage to this is that a lot of sealing gels contain silicon, whereas here the gel is silicon free and this allows the gel box to be used in any branch of industry, even those where varnishes, paints and other sensitive products are used, such as the automotive industry, and combined with its IPX8 rating makes it suitable for bathrooms, washing facilities or irrigation systems, farms and garden centres, swimming pool areas, car parks and charging stations. And because unlike those other sealant gels where two separate materials are combined to cause a reaction and make it set, the silicon free gel has already reacted. So it's fully label free and can be stored indefinitely. And critically, it allows the user to easily and cleanly access and reuse the connections at a future date. Although it should be noted that if you do open one up to modify connections at a future date, a fresh gel box should be used to ensure the connection remains at IPX8. At this point, we'll introduce the gel boxes that we haven't seen before, and these are the 1430 versions of the product, which are suited to contain the larger six millimeter connectors, and again, come in three sizes. The last digit changes each time to represent the larger size. And although I don't think it's intentional, it also corresponds to the number of connectors each one can contain at the most. This brings us to another really important point, which is that to guarantee the connection will be IPX8, you need to follow the guidance from Vargo on the type and number of connectors this can contain. So the smallest 1431 can contain either a single two-way or three-way connector. The second size will hold either two two-way connectors or a single five-way connector. And finally, the largest size will take either three two-way connections or two three-way connections which when you think these connectors can take 41 amps of current, that's a seriously beefy IPX8 connection in a remarkably compact space. And of course, if your joint can't be serviced by one of these connections, you can place a number of them into an enclosure and achieve the number of connections you need by using different combinations because the gel box provides the IP protection, the enclosure helps you meet the other requirements of BS7671. It's worth noting that there's no mention here of being able to use the 2773 series of connectors in these and achieve the IPX8 rating. So keep that in mind when making your choice of gel box. 
The gel enclosures are also approved to VDE when used with the Vargo connectors, and they're currently the only manufacturer to guarantee a connection made with their connector in a gel enclosure. Other manufacturers shy away from offering this as they make generic parts and don't know what brand of connectors will be installed in them. As different connectors vary in size, accomplishing the correct gel displacement to get the proper IP seal cannot be guaranteed. And they really couldn't be simpler to use. You just make the connections to the cable with your choice of connectors and then place them neatly into the gel box, making sure none of your conductors cross over in the mouth of the box, snap it closed and you're good to go. And of course, at some indeterminate point in the future, you can open it up and access the connections again really nice and cleanly without tons of sticky residue. So let's put it to the test by volleying it into this full water butt. If we get it down to the bottom of here, that's about a metre deep. Of course, it goes without saying that you mustn't try this at home as it should really be in an enclosure as well. I'm going to stand up here on this decking so I've got no connection to the literal earth and then lower that in there and see how it fares. So fishing it out again, you can see that the connection has survived, no protective devices have tripped, and inside the gel box all is dry and well preserved. The Vargo gel box is an excellent solution to the need to keep connections dry in difficult circumstances, and is sure to come in handy for applications that we haven't even thought of yet. If you've enjoyed this video, you may want to check out one of these videos here. Thank you very much for watching.